Welcome back to Jurassic World Alive. We're here with our monthly video, it feels, I don't know. Basically, for me, anyway, not much has changed in the game. But another month has... Uh, I can't say that word. Another month has passed since I think we've recorded a video. So if you did, if, I mean, if you play the game, you should know that every month there's a new pass. And this one is the Fierce Pass. Uh, also, the we've got an Anknix Championship is active now. That's pretty cool. So I think at the month or every every month or, or whatever, um, the tournament or this cup thing sort of resets. So you know we we get a reward. I got up to six thousand and forty six. You know I got into Nublar Shores, but I didn't get very far. <laughs> uh, but I'm not really that fussed about this. Uh, like it is what it is. Um, since they put in the newest dinosaurs, or you know the um, the what you call it, the the weird scruffy Halloween creature, that thing, I still have not got it. Uh, so and not for lack of me trying, because my alliance has really picked up steam. We got like tier eight, which is like the two hundred fifty unique one you want when you do the um, the leaderboards and stuff. Um, we also have like we had two like level twenty sanctuaries. Lines being very super active. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's in there who is participating in these. I even actually missed one of the, you know, get your t 10 takedowns. I missed it and we still got it. So I was like, oh, sorry about that, okay? But uh, really been putting in the effort. Uh, it's just a shame that it feels like the game sort of just died at the moment, <laughs> or at least for me. I'm still going in every day. I'm doing my things, but th there's no like, mm, I don't know. Ah, when I, yeah, get, like, I'm really enjoying the battles, or, yeah, I'm really enjoying... It's none of that. And as you can see, we're now in freaking Lockwood Manor. Oh, library, whatever you want to call it. But it's not all doom and gloom. No, because there is a new pass. And it's good f for a lot of reasons. I mean, there's nothing really that great. I don't, is there any emotes in this? Maybe there is? I, I had a quick scan through, and no, I couldn't see any emotes, which is kind of interesting but if you're missing on rexy dna or you're missing on the hybrid for rexy the tyranno metrodon this is going to be really good for you um of course this game is highly reliant on microtransactions we can't deny it any longer and it's been going on long enough to know that you know they know that we know that's what this game is and it's it's showing no signs of stopping, as you can see, as the the plethora of incubators just circulate as I talk about this. And that's not to say that the game is impossible to play without it. It is possible to play. It's just a different game if you were to play it like this. So this is really an interesting thing. You know, this is um, the Carvassus Strike, or whatever you want to call it, um, which is like a sort of a test of like how good are you? How good a dinosaur wrangler are you? How do you do the things you do? We use a level 30 and we win, basically. That's what we do. So it does have some boost on it, so it's got a healthy thing. It's a level 20, but I'm pretty sure we can just do the Can it cleanse itself? It probably could cleanse with the digging. Okay. Now, it, all I need to do is just kill one of it. It, however, needs to kill three of me with a level 30 unboosted. You know, it, it, it's an unboosted, but it's still a good creature. And uh, we may as well... Yeah, it goes for stick, and who didn't see that coming? But we'll just put a stop at that. Uh, whatever health it gets back, well, that'll be all the perks you get, because you lose everything else. Um, this dinosaur right here, um, I forget its name, the Suchotator, is, seems to be very good. I've seen it in skill tournaments quite a bit. I think... I don't think it has any recipes for better hybrids, but, you know... I think, as far as a rare hybrid thing goes, it gets the job done. If you need it for a skill tournament, it's there. And if you need it for something like this, where maybe it's only rares, it's for it as well. It's very good. Uh, one of the few dinosaurs, I say few dinosaurs, there's definitely a lot of dinosaurs, but, you know, this game is basically, do you have the boosts to make that dinosaur good? And if you don't, well, you're probably not going to use it. Uh, but luckily, this is all came over and I have got loads of these missions done. So I have the monthlies, which are the big one. We've also got all of the dailies here as well. And we've got all... Oh, okay, well, we don't have all of those ones. <laughs> I was like, surely I've got an incense or something that I could pop out just to uh, dart a Rexy. Uh, but no. This is retrieve DNA from this creature with a drone. Ah, I was going to say, oh, sanctuary? No. <laughs> 
Not quite. So that's a bit of a bugger. Uh, and you can only do four dinosaurs a day. Or like in incubators, um, you, you can only have four in at once. So they've deliberately made it five so you can't get it instantly. Um, now when it comes to this game and microtransactions, um, especially with Jurassic World the game, um, it's never worth really just buying incubators. They only last for a certain period of time and, you know, the dinosaur becomes irrelevant. And the, the stuff you get from it, so if we were to spend, I don't know, 90 pound on this, you get one, one boost in each of the stats. You get half a million coin, which at this, if you're in lower, you know, tier games and maybe, even then though, if you're lower level, you're not going to get these good prizes, I'm pretty sure. But you do get some of that. You, you get some unique, some legendary and 40 Geminiders. And for 100 pound, or like 90 pound, it's like, oh my God. Um, when really, if you're playing the game, uh, the best ones to go for are premium passes. Because that way, you're getting 500 unique DNA. You're already getting half of that for more than double the cost, uh, as well as some other good things. And you're getting access to all of the premium rewards that you wouldn't get access to. So I understand why they put it in here. Um, it's just a way of like, if you're Mr. Moneybags, like <laughs> I was with, what you call it, with Rexy, you can buy those incubators and, and whatever. And as you saw, when I did spend money on the game, I shot up through the ranks. I was I was in, performing in like new blush rolls when I never had before. It's just the way the game is. It's if you want to be, to get the best prize, you have to pay the best money, you know, sort of thing, which is not going to lie. Probably want to change that, but hey ho, that's just me. What do I know? I haven't been playing it since it started about five years ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I, I will spend money on this of the premium pass, but that is only because it's it gives the best rewards and I still need the DNA in there for certain dinosaurs. So we'll be right back once we spend money. You know what it is? It, <laughs> I have my accountant be like, you seem to be spending a lot of money on like the Apple store. How are you doing this? <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, well, I, if I have to explain it, it, it doesn't make it any better. I have a problem, but at least it's a business expense, right? Okay. <laughs> but Rexy, we got 250 Rexy DNA. Don't really need the Odontosaurus, I don't think. Uh, the 250 Tyrannometrodon, I'll happily accept. Uh, the 250 of the Odontogonathus, I'll happily accept. The 224 of that I will do, which takes all the way down to rank 10. Now, you don't need to get any of these premium passes or the boosts for the premium pass when you unlock it to unlock all the dinosaurs or to get to level 30 rank, which is the best one. Other games, like I've played the Warhammer Tacticus game, I never seem to get the last prizes, even though I play that daily. This game, I do. So it's, it's quite rewarding in that sense i suppose you can get to the bottom but the prizes are of course not going to be as good as the premium prizes so we will just collect through at rank 10 we'll collect our dailies as well as now the cheeky thing is that they've done is they've made you know if you don't keep getting your dailies your price for collecting the dailies goes down so as you can see i'm on a hundred of this guy it was um diplodocus before but now it's orogonathus Anrogonathus. Anrogonathus. There you go. Um, but if you don't keep up your streak and you start like missing days, the price goes down from 100 to 90 to 80. To I don't know. I think maybe it's 50 the lowest. I would. I hope it's not zero or 10. I don't know what the most is. I'm assuming the most is probably 150. So we'll gather our, um, our weekly, which I've only got one of. But we do have, like, look at that. A monthly. You've got to be careful when you collect these because... I could have collected this before, but it would have been for nothing. Um, however, I saved it because I'd already maxed up. And there we go. We are now... We were on rank 10. We are now on to rank 21. We could, if you so wished, get the rest of them. But, you know, there's no point in doing that. So, we'll just skip forward collecting all this. 175 Tyrannometrodon and 200 Rexy DNA. They're the biggest takeaways from this. And the final one, one hundo Tyrannometrodon DNA. Oh, wait, no, oh, no, my bad. No, we've still got more. <laughs> we've got two more. Um, hopefully, actually, I should be able to get Tyrannometrodon to level 30. Um, is it really worth doing? 
At this point, we're so close, we may as well. I think this is what we needed in his post-Metrodon DNA. And we should be able to get a couple more fuses because we have got the DNA for it. We got some Demetrodon, some post -Sucus, and here we go. Uh, so I kind of just want to do any fuses if I can. And I can do... Okay, I can do a couple of these, because if we get it over to a thousand, then we can do five pops on Tyranno Metrodon. And there it is, over a thousand. And we can do one more Demetrodon. The good thing is, uh, post Sucus and Dimetrodon are things that you can encounter in the wild. I like when that's the thing. It's nice. Um, but I very rarely go out and dart in the wild, because this game is so, like, demanding, processing-wise, that it'll kill your phone faster than... I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of something that drains your battery more than the rest of the world alive does, but I honestly can't really think of it. <laughs> Maybe putting YouTube in the corner as well, or listening to Spotify at the same time. Gone. Anyway, we can do a solid five pop. So let's go for it. And a ooh, fifty's good. Hundred and twenty, really good there. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have enough more. Uh, for any more uh, fuses, but that is, we are so close, and if we get to level 30, that takes us to 3,000 attack on that bad boy. Mmm, yes. Do we have anything for you? Uh, did I not? No, I did. Oh, okay. Hold on. Here we go. Yes. Okay, maybe, maybe we can get some more fuses for the Geminitis. I know we're quite far off. I think we're only level 28 for, because you've got Gemini Titan and you've got Geminitis. So we can do two more fuses of this and just see where we end up. So was it worth really spending money to fast forward? Not really. I feel like I would get to the end. Where the money does speak is, you know, unlocking that other path. That's where you get the better prizes. And when I think about it, actually, I should look at what the other prizes are um, or what other DNA. So we are 90 DNA off getting that Tyranno Metrodon. Now, if we scroll, all I need is a hundo. Um, and there it is, 150. So I've got it basically a level 30. Um, what I could do is spend 400 bucks, 500 bucks, 600 bucks, and to get all the way down there. But there's really no point in me doing that. I, like, I have 7,000 bucks at the moment, and still that feels like absolutely nothing. It's a drop in the ocean if I ever want to make progress on a creature that I actually want to make or need process. Um, so let's say I want maybe some DNA towards this. I, at the moment, have like 10 DNA. I don't even know what DNA I have for that. Let's have a look. Ah, that's right. I have made no process towards it or progress. I'm still trying to get this bloody thing to level 25. And even then, that's not counting all the extra DNA I'll need. I need like 300. 30 pops. Oh my God. And that's like 50 of that. I mean, Indoraptor Gen 2 isn't so bad. But it honestly, like, since its release, I don't know, man. I don't know how people have managed to get it. Because Dire Wolf, I think, came out at the same time. So, congratulations if you guys have managed to get it. it it's an achievement. As long as you haven't, like, bought the incubators, then, you know, if you've grinded, you went out and you've darted as many Dire Wolves as possible. Congratulations. That, that, I mean, that, that deserves a round of applause if you've done that. Otherwise, well, I'm not one to talk, am I? <laughs> Oh, we got one fuse. Can we get a 300? Or we get a 30. Okay, 10%. I'll take the 10%. Oh, we're we'll level 29 for this guy, actually. Oh, I'm still waiting for them to implement, you know, level 40s. It's gonna come. I know it is. But just wait. Just wait. Then we'll blow up. Then we'll then we'll have a rant and a ray. But until that point, let's do some battles. Okay, Lockwood Library. <gasps> Library! But what should we use is the question. What have we got? Oh, God, not, not a single flock there. That is not good. Um, but we have a lot of flock killers. But saying that, if if that freaking Indominus Rex hybrid comes in and I'm done, <laughs> I'm pretty much screwed. There's nothing I... I mean, maybe, I guess, with the Tyrannometrodon. I'll put this guy out first. We'll put in the... Um, not the Tyranno... Is it Tyranno Valkyrie? Tyranno Valkyrie, that's it. Maybe, because then I can take off his cloak. But they seem to not be... Okay. okay. Uh, have they disconnected? I feel like they must have disconnected. Surely. No, they haven't. Okay, they were just leaving it up to me to make the first move. So I'm assuming they're just going to go for the lower attack, just the regular one. And then next we'll see what they decide to go for. Probably the heal. 
seeing as I've got like a chunk of health. I mean, oh, that attack, like 5,600 is enough to kill me. But, I, you know, I think they'll go for it. They'll just go for the heal. Oh, they did it. Why? I can kill you, <laughs> you fool. And now I'm like up to full health. Are we zoomed out? I feel like Toronto Metrodon is very small. Here we go. This is what we like to see. Okay, can I kill it all in one? Oh, I can't. Interesting. Right. Hopefully, hopefully, we, it takes us down to below half health. I'm assuming... Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of that. 4,000. Oh, thank you. But then he also has his speed. <gasps> that is very lucky. I think I may be able to survive his regular hit. Um, I mean, if you... Oh, and I cleanse myself as well. That's brilliant. Okay. Uh, devour. Damn it! Okay, right. But uh, th maybe that's not so... Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Although, I, I, you know what? I know he's got... Con this is very good. This is very good. Um, I mean, what can we go for here? Trino Valkyrie? Hmm. Hmm. I... Oh. We've got a lot of flock killers, and he's got a lot of flocks. Um, I could go for... Oh, we could just go for a regular big hit. What's he gonna go for? What, Cunning Rampage? No, there's a delay on that. So we'll go for this one. Uh, okay, all the swap out, you know? Yeah, sure. What's he gonna swap in? What's he gonna swap in is the question. Probably Comsoraptor, right? Yeah, but that doesn't really help you at all. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got itchy nose. Um, I mean, it lowers my attack. Sure, I guess. Like, how much so? Uh, I mean, enough. You also get your cloak, so... Right. Okay. Um, I mean... Sure. I mean, he's still got his cloak. He's actually doing very well here. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Okay. He's just... He's on the cusp. But actually, maybe that works for me. Hmm. Maybe that works for me. I mean, I'm dead. He's probably going to go for Rampage and run here. Um, wow. I had a, I've got a team to kill these flocks. But at the same time, I kind of don't. So, yeah. Right. Alodrigus comes in. Okay, this is where I, <laughs> I'm meeting my words here. Really, I needed the scorpion. The scorpion's great for killing Comsoraptor. Um, so what I could do is just go for regular bleed hit here. Um, get my speed up next turn. Yeah, sure. You know what? Yeah. Protective alert. Um, ooh, interesting. Interesting. Right. So... He's really going to go for that 5,600 damage here. Right, there's the bleed. Um, do you think he's going to go for the alert peg? Do I have resistance to rend? I don't. Ooh, oh, it's not looking too great for me. I'll, I'll swap out here, actually. Because, yeah, all he gets is a roost. If he goes for the rend... Fair enough, but I'm, I'm kind of expecting him just to go for, like, take my attack down knowing he's going to die, but just try and do as much damage, damage as possible. Um, but I do have some resistance to the rend here, if he does decide to go for it. Uh, ha ha ha! Yes! That's how we do it! Uh, only thing is, I think I can be stuck in. Yes! That's not so good. Um, right. So we know he's going to go for a big hit here. So I may as well just go for this one. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. But, ooh, the crit. Don't know what the chances of his crit is, but I think it was pretty high there. Um, uh, okay. And the bleed. Does he have resistance? Of course it has resistance. To <laughs> There's the bleed. Now, what are you going to go for? Right, your bleed's still going to happen. You do a protective alert, I suppose. You might go for. So I'm a bit hesitant. Um, but at the same time, I know what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go for the play you did not see coming! Uh, well, as long as you don't get a dodge that is 100% chance. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Happy with that. Here we go. Because if I killed it, Comstrad will come in and I'm, I think I'm pretty much screwed. But at least this way, I get my increased attack. I am locked down, but it, now it depends what his other dinosaur is. There's the smartest move I think I could have done there. It's a ref! Okay, and not so bad, I think. Um, huh. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, I, I mean, I'm kind of stuck here. 
Um, because it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, it doesn't... Actually, he should have taken my attack down. The fool... No, he's lost, I think. I think I do a crud ton of damage here. Um, I think I do. I could be wrong. Decreases speed. Cleanse. The shield came up for no reason there, but hey-ho. There's 5,000. Okay. That's what he was kind of wanting. Um, but the speed down is pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's, um... I kind of just want to swap him out, knowing that he's going to swap in his Raptor here. I know he's going to, so I'm just going to... Um, yeah, I, 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 it, was, it was obvious. Oh, he doesn't... <sighs> Oh, interesting. Inter Actually, I might get some health here. This might not be as bad as I thought, because he's going to get one back. He can't be swapped out. Fair enough. But I learnt Squall, and because I'm below half health... Bugger, I'm not! Damn it! Ah, I'm just below! Oh, that's annoying. Okay, but I think I get a shield here, which is going to help me. I think, as long as I, as long as I keep that speed increase, that's kind of what... I oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is, uh... This is, this is bad. I, I, can I be, can I swap out? No. Okay, well, well played. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have anything to counter both of those. Um, he says well played, but I, 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 I don't, I'm still might be in with a chance here. Uh, because I do have that speed increase. I, I do have some armor, but he did do 1,800, didn't he? So yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. I thought I was going to get a shield. With one of these, I always seem to get a shield, but then it never seems to stay. <laughs> it's like, shield, gone. He's now he's now a bit curious. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what you should have done, yeah. I mean, if he didn't get the crit, I think there's a 100% chance of him getting the crit, but I mean, well played. That, whew. I was dealt a bad hand. I didn't get a single flock there. That was annoying, but I mean, hey, Lockwood Library, oh, we're doing great. <laughs> Okay, battle number two. Come on, let this be the red. Okay, now I get a flock. Now we get something that hits all, like, all flocks. Like, that Geminidas thing would have saved me there, 100%. That's all I needed, really. Um, and for this, you know what? I'm gonna put the, the, the scorpions in first. Sometimes people put in Comsoraptor first. Ah, brilliant. The perfect counter for it. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Um, he's basically just gonna one-chomp me. Um, and there's nothing I can really do here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Should we just give up instantly? I think we should just resign. Like, if there's a resign, but I'd be like, okay, that was really bad. <laughs> give up, please. It, it's, it <laughs> it's just like, you know, you have one of those days where it's like, right, okay, so everything I'm going to face up against is going to, is just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, there's like literally nothing I can do here. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. That first turn decided the entire match. I'm just going to go. Yeah, and I know this is coming. I could switch and whatever, but I, I kind of just want that over with. Wow. Wow. Um, I could have prolonged it, but let's be honest here. Yeah, it's... um. Ooh. Ooh, the salt levels. Oh, I can feel it. No, I don't like it. Again, another reason why I just don't, like, I'm not making content on the game because it's, it, I know this is the salt speaking, but at the same time, I, ugh, I don't like it. It's not fun. This isn't fun. Like, it, ugh, ugh. <laughs> hey, this is perfect. Exactly what I came up against. Yay. Except for I, I had to switch into it and then I died. Anyway, this one. Yes, here we go. Come on, this will be a 3-0 victory for Toronto Metrodon. Here we go. Big hit. And then next one. I mean, we've got him, luckily, not below half health, so he can't outspeed me. And in comes the group disarming Rampage. That's good. And then, oh, my attack's down. Oh, okay. Well, at least I get some health, I suppose. And in, I mean, he doesn't have any priority. All he can kind of... If I was him, I would switch out now, actually. Just switch out get like you know make me hit you but you survive and then you get a free counter hit back no okay also they still haven't fixed this glitch with the white thing i mean i know they wait for like an update and they roll it all out but can we not just like fix it like at, at all no okay so he's probably got his like biggest hit is 4500 and he's got 20 percent chance to crit. instant deceleration um, he has no priority except for... Oh, no, that is his priority. 
Oh, that's interesting. Yes, fair enough. Take take that. D do it. Revenge distracting impact. Yes, thank you. I'll do that. There's no counter, right? You can't counter me. I don't think. Oh, I cleanse. Oh, I meant to do. Not that. I meant to go for my priority. No. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, well, that's stupid. Oh. <laughs> this is why you lose, Jane. Because you make stupid things like that. Okay. Well, we'll just go for Germanitis now. We've got our room. Um, can we reduce his speed? Uh, a little bit, but is it going to make much of a difference? Probably not. We'll just go for the hard one then. Um, I might not have killed him, but he, he would have definitely killed me. Oh, God, the crit. Really? Oh, it's bad enough I'm making mistakes. Yeah, I mean, that's... I'd still have died, but at least I would have... He'd be dead now. Yeah, he would have been dead. So that would have been good. So now, unfortunately, he gets, like, extra hits off. Or at least he gets one hit. And he gets to switch out, at least. So here comes the precise. Uh, he doesn't get the crit this time. And just... Ooh. Oh, I forget what it's like when things don't go through armor. Ooh, that was like 4,000 and odd damage turned into 400 damage. Really? Ehrlich is fixed. I never see those. So, <clears throat> it's definitely, um... It, it's definitely obvious that I'm in Lockwood Library now. And not Nublar Shores. Unless it's had some... Update. I mean, it had a different move. One of its moves was updated. Okay, so you do 4,200. There's a high chance you're going to get a crit. Um, I mean, I may as well, I mean, you're faster, so, should we, should we, I mean, chances are he's gonna be, oh, that's unfortunate, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, it, it definitely, definitely was emotional damage, <laughs> and then we can just finish this off with this, so, yeah, I did, I mean, two losses, one, one win, the, the loss, the other loss, the previous loss just before this game really shouldn't have been a loss. That was just completely like the hand I was dealt. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we die. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I want to say that I will... Oh, but if they're a Camp Cretaceous fan, um, I want to say... I bet they're not. <laughs> that I want to... I want to keep making content on this. At the same time, it's, it's just getting harder and harder. The fact that, you know, when they put new things in... I can't unlock them unless you want to spend hundreds, if not thousands on the game. Or, you know, you burn up your phone and decrease its battery life by, like, two, three years or something. I don't know. I, I want to like it. I've spent, I've, you know, put so much hours and so much money into the game. And it's just like, uh, I don't really find the battles fun. I will keep on, you know, playing it as I do. Honestly, at this point, I find Jurassic World, the game, more fun. Is that a bad thing to say? I don't know. At least in that one, I don't get salty. <laughs> At least, you know, I enjoy playing games. I don't want to go... I wanna know, no one wants to open a game and go, is it going to be a good day today? Or is it going to be a bad day? <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. How is it going for you? Are you still enjoying it? Or are you like me? And you're just used to it at this point. I don't know. But anyway, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.